this is a this video will uh, demonstrate how the newly installed signal bridge and 153 IR sensor work in actual operation. The IR-153 uh, sensor here tri uh, triggered the uh, signal bridge. The IR-153 sensor in the uh, background triggered the uh, switch tower. Welcome back to Ed Strains. Uh, this video will show you how I wired up a post-war uh, number 450 signal bridge to operate with a 153IR sensor from Lionel. That's this little puppy over here. And also to explain uh, my lighting sequence, and then probably as importantly to uh, show you how I wired it all up. Now, you see a lot of spaghetti there, and that's it's kind of like a breadboard just to connect the wires. Um, as I go through this, I'll show you the diagram, my wiring, why I did it, uh, show you the book or the instructions that came with it, and also the uh, repair manual from K-Line. So without further ado, let me turn it on. And if you notice, uh, I've got the red lit on this track, green lit on this track. The reason I'm doing that because um, it's going to straddle a main line and also uh, an entrance from a siding to the main line. And, um, and I'm debating about whether to have the, the main line uh, constantly green and then trip it red when something comes through um, the siding or to have it red on the main line and then trip it uh, when a train comes through the, med li uh, the main line. Um, the idea there being I'm probably going to have far more trains running on the main line than I will having them enter from a siding. So I'll see how this works and if not it's a real uh, easy uh, wiring swap to uh, change the uh, order of the lights. And you can also have uh, red on top on both uh, lights or green uh, lit up at the same time. So uh, I've got it set up now. Uh, train comes down the siding and it trips the IR sensor and the lights um, reverse. It took me a little while to figure that out but um, it's pretty straightforward once you kind of understand the, the wiring and I am a dolt when it comes to wiring things up. It takes me a while to work through it um, and I've been known to fry things because uh, I've wired them incorrectly. But this time I got everything right and the IR sensor works uh, really good. Okay now what I'd like to do is explain how I wired them up uh, 
to make them operate the way they did at the beginning of the video. So uh, first, I uh, attached, uh, I didn't have found stock here, fell off. This thing is, I don't know what, 50 years old, 40 years old. And uh, no, actually, it's um, 60 some years old. So uh, I've just made a connection here because this is ground and it actually is connected to the uh, bridge itself, which acts as ground. So I'm going to take that ground and um, put it into the accessory ground on the, um, excuse me, on the uh, 153IR. And then uh, what I also did is I attached a lead from the number one post on this side of the bridge to the number two post on this side of the bridge. Um, and then another lead from post two on this side to post one on this side. And by doing that, I have one lamp green on one side and one lamp red on the other side as, as the default. Uh, and on this in this case, it'll be the left-hand side of the bridge. This lamp will be green. This lamp will be red. Now, the other thing I have to do is uh, attach wires from the normally open and normally closed posts on the IR on the 153IR and attach it to this side of the bridge. And as I explained earlier, I have the red and the white, uh, red and the black correspond to the red lamp and the uh, green lamp uh, on the bridge itself. So what I'll do, what I've done is I've attached one lead to post uh, one on this side of the bridge and the red lead will go to, let me see, make sure I get it right. Yeah, it'll go to normally closed. I hope it's right. If it's not, I can just switch them. Let's see if I can get this to open up for me. And the black will go to normally open. So let me just do that and make it easy. It's normally closed. And... Okay, so right now I have uh, the bridge wired up, ground to ground, and then normally open and normally close to either the uh, red or black uh, lead and terminal on the bridge itself. Now the only thing I have to add is power, so let me do that right now. not cooperating. Okay, there we go. And then ground. All right. Now, um, I will set that over there. I'll stand up the bridge in a fashion. Let's hope it all stays together here. I have lights because I managed to disconnect the ground from the transformer. There we go. Okay, so now we've got lights, green light on the left side and red light on the right side. And if everything's working correctly, I will run past the sensor and the light switch from green 
to red, and from red to green. Okay, well that's how you wire it up. Now this lighting scheme follows the wire diagram that just preceded this uh, video and the following video clip will demonstrate um, how this operates uh, starting with this default light arrangement. This is the light arrangement I'm actually going to use on my layout. And I'm going to place the 153 IR on the main line so when the train is coming it'll be red, it'll uh, go past the IR controller, trip the lights, and switch the main line to green and the siding to red. I uh, hope that makes sense. Thank you.